Come on everybody, write it down in the comment section which moisturizer you are using right now, what is the price of the moisturizer and what is your experience of using it in, uh, on the scale of 0 to 10, 0 being the least and 10 being the most uh, ecstatic about the usage. In today's video, I am uh, preparing a rice cream with all of you which is going to give you every possible hydration, moisturization, the suppleness, the bounciness that you are finding for your uh, skin and you are using multiple products for the same. This very cream can really help you achieve that and not only uh, for the skin of your face but also for your body because why not. So if at all you are up for it, let's check out what needs to be done and how to achieve a soft, bouncier, supple skin for yourself. Hello to my wonderful people present over here. I hope and wish that you all are having an amazing time with your friends and family and planning your festivities in this amazing festive October. In today's video, I'm discussing with all of you a very simple and yet very powerful cream that you can prepare at home using very simple ingredients right in your kitchen. Yes, you have to make a little bit of an effort. So please watch the presentation properly, understand what all things are required how much energy is required and then maybe you can start it for yourself and believe me once you do it it is going to really pay you off and you'll be really happy with the results so step number one is going to be taking one third cup of uh, white rice yes the one that you eat you need not be very specific about the you know which variant to be used whichever you have you can use it and wash it properly do not discard the water in the drains please it's an amazing nutrient for your plants so use the uh, discarded water to water your plants now for the rest of the rice that you have washed properly and thoroughly you're going to put approximately one glass of water and let it set for some time post this you're going to cook this right obviously one glass of water for one third cup of uh, rice is not sufficient so you're going to add more water and believe me when i say more it has to be somewhere around three to four glasses yes but not altogether gradually we are going to add it and the ultimate uh, result that we really want is mashed rice now i actually added a little bit of more water gradually and i mashed the rice properly but if you are somebody who cannot tolerate or wait for so long to for the rice to actually you know get cooked and mashing it up you can cook the rice well uh, maybe a little bit overcooked and then you can take the entire content in a grinding jar and make it into a paste in a grinding jar itself that's absolutely possible i did not do it because obviously the grinding jars are not never 100 percent clean there is some or the other ingredient in it and i never wanted a chili in my cream so yes i did it this way you are comfortable to do the way you want it and once the rice are completely mashed, the next step is going to be straining the rice through a sieve. Now, it has to be really, really, um, you know, absolutely perfect. Reason being the cream, if at all, there is some lump or some particle in your cream, what would be your reaction? Obviously, you will not be comfortable. So, that's the point over here. If you have muslin cloth, that can really uh, let the mushy rice paste to go through it, you can use that. I am using a sieve to actually mash it well so that uh, once it comes out of the sieve it is absolutely you know it's amazing it's soft it's very soothing it's really slippery just like a cream should be once you have collected all the fine slippery rice paste we are going to add the next ingredients into it that would be one tablespoon of glycerine yes the substitute of hyaluronic acid you can also add hyaluronic serum if you have but why waste it because uh, really the glycerine is going to work equally well and you can use the cream during the night hours to avoid that uh, stickiness or any discomfort for that matter the next would be one tablespoon of rose water which is amazing distilled water and it, it actually uh, helps your pores toned up and uh, really really uh, refreshed the next would be approximately two tablespoon of vitamin e oil if you have vitamin e capsules you can add approximately four to six uh, capsules of vitamin e into it and mix 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 it's very important to mix all the things together obviously initially they're not going to be mixed well because uh, they are miscible and immiscible things together but if you give it a very good stir for a very long period of time you would see there is a consistency there is a uh, similarity in the consistency of whatever we have mixed together and then you're going to add the entire content into a glass jar it is important you are not storing it in any plastic jar 
now for the storage i would highly recommend that you store it in the refrigerator only but you can keep it out for like for a day or two on your dressing as well because i did that but uh, storing in the refrigerator will absolutely cut the chances of uh, things getting rancid or foul and uh, there is not going to be any discomfort in that regard so once you have prepared your cream you can just you know try it on your hands and you'll be really happy that what have you curated what beautiful thing has been curated in your kitchen and that is really beating all the moisturizers that you're using right now also because you are uh, you are going to store it in the refrigerator the consistency is going to be a little bit like rice cakes yes it is going to be something like um, coconut oil when it uh, hardens because of cold some that sort of consistency and it's very very jiggly and very nice to hold on believe me so once you want to apply it on your face you just take a little bit in your hands rub it in your hands charge it kind of stuff and then put it all over your face your face is going to be really really amazing if at all it depends on the variety of rice that you're using you might see granules post the application once you have applied it thoroughly some sort of granules coming out and believe me that's uh, you can consider it as a side effect or maybe you know a negative of this cream but once you get rid of it nobody can tell you that you are uh, wearing any sort of a uh, diy cream on your face because it's that gentle what i would suggest what i have always suggested to all the my, all my family members is you can use it as a night cream so if at all there is some kind of granules that you're not very comfortable about can be taken into consideration because you're sleeping anyways and the good nutrients that you have mixed in this cream are going to work on your skin you are going to experience amazing amazing results of this cream the skin texture is going to be improvised obviously rice is used over here the rose water the vitamin e every possible thing that is uh you know addressing any possible problem that is addressing in your face right now this is going to be fixed and you'll be really happy so i hope you liked the presentation if you did do give it a thumbs up i'll see you all in the next one with something magical till then enjoy the screen once you get the results come back and let all of us know as well take care